The latest announcement from VW's CEO left all EV car makers shocked and concerned. It could spell big trouble for Volkswagen and the entire EV industry, leading to a loss of hundreds of millions, if not billions. Volkswagen's electric dream seems to have hit a speed bump. The company took a major step that might mean no more EVs. But how did the German giant find itself in this trouble? And what complications does it have for the company's future? In a move that has shocked the electric vehicle industry, pun intended, the Volkswagen Group is pumping the brakes on its EV production, raising eyebrows and questions about the German automaker's future. How did a company that was once so eager to accelerate towards electrification find itself in reverse gear? And what does this potentially mean for the landscape of EVs? At a glance, the situation at VW appears paradoxical. After all, the broader EV market is booming, with record sales in Europe, the US, and Australia, led by competitors like Tesla. The problem, it seems, isn't about an electric world reluctance, as VW claims, but specifically about VW's EVs. In just 10 action-packed minutes, we will tell you all there is to know about VW's crisis. Now let's dive in. So what exactly happened? The company recently announced cuts to production and shifts at its Emden plant in Germany, citing strong customer reluctance to buy their EVs. The news came as a shock, considering the company has previously been ambitious about its EV strategy, with the ID series at the front lines. But the numbers paint a grim picture, with VW falling short of its sales forecast by 30%. Oops. This is particularly striking in contrast to the success stories reported by other EV manufacturers like Tesla, BYD, and Rivian. Tesla alone reported a whopping 83% year-on-year increase in sales for the second quarter in 2023, indicating a growing customer appetite for EVs. That said, Volkswagen's offerings are just not as good if I'm being bluntly honest when compared to brands like Ford or BMW. Could it be that VW has failed to meet the expectations of the modern EV consumer? What could be the reason behind VW's cash shortage? The reason behind the pushback. The reasons behind Volkswagen's EV struggles seem to be multifaceted. On one hand, the company cites external factors such as reduced subsidies, rising electricity costs, and lowering gas prices. CEO Schaefer said, we are allowing too high costs in many areas. While he dodged all the questions about why this crisis occurred, we have some info that could be useful here. Insiders point towards the company's inefficiencies and high costs of production to be the reason behind this. Volkswagen CEO Thomas Schaefer even described the company's situation as very tough and called for the immediate cost cuts, signaling that the issues run deeper than just external market dynamics. Volkswagen's production cutbacks also come with layoffs. The company announced that 300 out of the 1,500 temporary workers at the Emden plant would no longer be employed from August, and its dedicated EV factory in Emden will shut down for six weeks. This has raised concerns about the future job security within the company and the broader EV industry. But it's not just VW's company's workforce that's at risk. Volkswagen's financial stability is also under threat. The company's focus on reducing production to increase profits indicates a crisis management strategy. However, this move could backfire if it continues to lag behind in the EV revolution. The German giant seems slow to embrace the transformation compared to its rivals, potentially risking its market share. To add to its woes, Volkswagen has also been slow to launch new models. The much-awaited launch of the VW's Performance ID7 sedan, originally scheduled for this month, has also been postponed. The delay could further dampen the brand's appeal to customers looking for the latest in EV technology. It's clear that Volkswagen's journey towards electrification has hit a major speed bump. But whether this will be a fatal crash or just a temporary skid off the road, as we say, only time will tell. One thing's for sure, all eyes will be on the German automaker as it attempts to maneuver its way out of this mess. Loss making profits. In the critical growth market of China, Volkswagen's delivery of just over 12,000 BEVs in the entire second quarter was a dismal performance, especially compared to Tesla's staggering sales of 28,000 vehicles in June alone. The German giant was dwarfed, reduced to a mere tenth of its global competitor. This lagging performance raises serious concerns about the company's prospects in the crucial EV sector, where competition is only intensifying. 
Christian Dahlheim, VW Group Sales Chief, projected confidence, pledging that the launch of the Volkswagen ID7 model would give the struggling automaker a much needed boost. We are anticipating a significant acceleration in BEV deliveries in the third quarter, thanks to the expanded Volkswagen ID family, he announced, attempting to cast light on the stormy road ahead. But behind the hopeful facade, the numbers reveal a sobering reality. Traditionally, VW has enjoyed significant popularity among Chinese car buyers, yet it has fallen to rank only among the top 10 BEV manufacturers in the first half of this year. China's increasingly affluent consumers seem to favor other locally built battery-powered cars, such as the Tesla Model Y or BMW iX3. Further compounding Volkswagen's woes, Bernstein analyst Arndt Ellinghorst said in a research note, China EV buyers seem to be less impressed by the model's software features and infotainment system. This follows disconcerting insurance data pointing to a mere 434 units of the ID6 sold last month. Adding insult to injury, Volkswagen's first quarter profits plummeted by a staggering 31% to 5.7 billion euros, down from 8.3 billion euros over the same period last year. Now, despite a 22% rise in sales revenue primarily driven by a recovery in sales volumes in Europe and North America, this downturn exposes a grim reality, a shrinking foothold in the Chinese market and the urgent need to catch up with its EV market rivals. Volkswagen CFO Arno Antlitz tried to cast a positive light on the situation. We had indeed a really encouraging start into the year 2023 with both revenues and underlying operating profit improving significantly, he asserted. However, these words provide cold comfort in the face of mounting challenges and an increasingly competitive market. Further plans to improve. Despite facing a period of uncertainty and challenges, Volkswagen is gearing up for a strategic turnaround. Thomas Schaefer, VW's CEO, recently revealed a comprehensive plan to bolster the company's financial stability and ensure its long-term success. This initiative, aptly named Accelerate Forward, Road to 6.5, aims to significantly increase Volkswagen's profits to a remarkable 6.5%, primarily by enhancing efficiency across the company's passenger car brands. The program is designed to secure the brand's growth and pave the way for future investment in new technologies, plant modernization, and staff training. Volkswagen has been making significant strides in the EV market, with BEV deliveries increasing by 50% in the first quarter of 2023. This momentum, coupled with the announcement of new electric models like the ID7 Compact and a potential all-electric Beetle, indicates that Volkswagen remains committed to a zero-emissions future. However, the Accelerate Forward, the Road to 6.5 program, signifies a shift in the company's approach. Rather than offering a broad range of EVs, VW aims to simplify its product offerings to maximize profitability. The strategy includes reducing the complexity of models and the number of variants to optimize production. Volkswagen CFO and COO Arno Antlitz, in a recent LinkedIn post, emphasized the need for the automotive conglomerate to focus on profits and cash flow. This focus is manifested in their new program, which aims to increase the company's return on sales to 6.5% by 2026, a goal that, while ambitious, is feasible, according to Schaefer. This would translate to around 10 billion euros in earnings. Tesla is killing VW. Although Tesla has had its share of issues in China, with sales dipping over safety and data concerns, it managed to bounce back and outperform VW globally, selling roughly 386,000 BEVs in the first half of the year compared to Volkswagen's 171,000. The majority of VW's EV sales came from Europe, where strict CO2 emissions standards drive demand. Meanwhile, the U.S. accounted for only 11% of Volkswagen's BEV volumes in the first six months. In a shocking turn of events, Volkswagen Group's electric vehicle sales in the booming China market have staggeringly trailed behind the industry leader Tesla, sounding alarm among analysts. Volkswagen, the German auto giant, recently released second quarter sales figures revealing that it had delivered a mere 12,000 BEVs to customers in China, a critical growth market for the automaker. This figure represents a fraction of the impressive 111,000 BEVs Volkswagen sold globally during the same period and is dwarfed by the 28,000 cars Tesla sold in China in June alone. 
To address this alarming shortfall, Volkswagen Group's sales chief, Christian Dahlheim, has pledged a significant increase in BEV sales in China for the third quarter. Dahlheim attributes this anticipated surge to the recent launch of the VW ID.6 model, an SUV specifically tailored to Chinese customers' preferences. Recent trends suggest that China's increasingly affluent customers are veering towards other locally built, battery-powered vehicles such as the Tesla Model Y or BMW iX3. This shift is concerning given that China forms a crucial part of VW's ambitious electrification plans. The German auto manufacturer recently revamped two local plants to produce an annual total of 600,000 zero-emission vehicles. Yet the evidence seems to indicate that Chinese EV buyers aren't that impressed by Volkswagen's offerings. As it navigates these tumultuous waters, VW is on a mission, not only to survive, but also to reclaim its lost ground. The company is pledging to speed up, particularly in China's BEV market. It's obvious we need to speed up, especially on the BEV side, Antlitz concluded. Only time will tell if this fallen giant can rise again and take its rightful place in the pantheon of the auto industry. So what do you think will happen with VW? Is making lesser models and focusing on maximizing profits a good idea? Or should they be launching more vehicles like Ford and Toyota? Let us know down in those comments below. And if you've been watching this far, we applaud your attention. Thank you. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more.